You know, Too Mean to Die, I read, is album number 16 for the band, and it is also album number five with Mark up front. You know, it's never easy to fill the shoes of a well-known and unique-sounding lead vocalist like Udo, but I guess Mark has very much made the position his own, hasn't he? Dare I say, close to the perfect fit. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you, you, absolutely. I say it all day long. He's mm. the perfect man. And uh, without him, he wouldn't be here today because really when we regrouped 10 years ago, or I think it's 11 years by now, um, you know, he was the one who enabled us to do this because without him, there would have been no except, no singer, no except because Udo was doing his own thing, wasn't interested, and he made it clear he would never work with us again. So, you know, we basically felt he it's him or nobody because, you know, it was. It felt so good for us that we, when we met Mark, that we felt that we said, you know, if it's not going to work with Mark, it's never going to work because mm. he seemed seemed like a perfect guy. He could definitely reproduce the old stuff perfectly well, and we felt he can do so much more. And you know, now we've done five studio albums together, and you know, the the proof is there. I think he's he's a perfect man. I did read that when he was in uh, in TT Quick, they would cover a couple of Accept songs in their live set back in the day. So maybe it's all meant to be that way. Strange is how it sometimes mm. feels, uh, fits together, isn't mm. it? Yeah, I often felt like uh, this time in 2009 when we started to think about re-firing up the machine, there was a few magic moments, and that was one of them when we met Mark. But another magic moment was when all of a sudden we get this phone call from Andy Sneap that he wants to produce with us. And because he turned out to be just as important as uh, Mark was, and mm. it all fell together so well, it's, it, it felt really like the stars aligned in our favor during that time. 